Okay, my friends, this is the introduction to the Mars Life Series. This is Roger Mud Fossil University. You see what you're looking at right here? You see all those little lines and so forth? What, what, what do you see right here? What do you see right there? I think you see basically the same thing. And guess what that is? That's muscle. And guess what this is? That's blood. And you say, oh, come on, Roger. <laughs> you come on. Because that's what it is, and it's coming right out of there. That's the blood is dripping out from this muscle. This was muscle, and it's from a dead creature, and it had leached this blood out, and it dried up, and it's now something similar to this. Let me show you something else. Okay, I showed you this rock. This is here. I got all this stuff on my own property. Now, I did a blood study of what... The, the blood is like, and th this is this is nothing but blood and tissues here. And I scraped them off, and I just tested them out, and I looked at them. I got a real fancy microscope over here. To, I can see pretty good details, and it's all you know, very it's powerful. But I, I got to be honest with you, I used it about five times. And what the hell am I going to do with this? I can see his blood. I can see that's blood. You'd have to be an idiot to say this is not a piece of biological material. It's a rock now, absolutely. But when you scrape the blood out of here, I mean, it's just, it's just 100% biology. And guess what? Same thing on Mars. You say, oh, come on, Rogers. Yeah, well, let's talk about it. You see this? I just showed you my rock. It's identical. You see all this dust and this red debris coming down identical what i showed you in the slide it, it was the same thing that comes out of the rock that's right down here what is this what is this guess what that is that's a blood vessel and a vein that is the artery that's the vein the artery has all kind of investments to to service the tissue with blood the artery sucks it back up into the heart and there it is in the muscle can you see that down there yes you can there it is in the muscle all right, and then they, they show the blow up above. And you say, well, what is all this of breaks and all this rocks and stuff like that? Well, guess what? That's what's called sarcomeres. You see that? These are the muscle fibers. These are muscle bundles, and they break, in. they split along these sarcomere lines. See, this is what the sarcomeres do. Relax, contract it. They pinch. But right between there is where that cracks come. All right, I discovered interstitium. I'm just, I'm just just a fact. I saw these gigantic balls and these gigantic webs of of fabric that I couldn't account for. I got a hold of Gil Headley, who was a, fa a fascist specialist. We investigated this. I ended up realizing these are the, t literally, I call them tendon balls. In the fascia, they're a special type of ball. They have the manganese, extreme, it, there's, there's all kinds of different tendon balls in your body to anchor things here and there. And some of them flex a certain way, some of them don't flex. The ones in the interstitium are the ones they're looking for for the uh, rare earth metals. I did a video on that the other day. They're all over the Indian territories and I hope they receive something from having that resource. At any rate, let me show you what this is. When you pull your skin this way or that way or this way, it has to come back to where it was when it started. These are the reason it comes back. So what would happen if I stretch this right here? These, these fibers would come out, these bags would flatten out, and then they would pinch over here somewhere. So if I wrinkle this, I'd have a pull, and I'd have a wrinkle, and I'd have a pull, and I, that type of thing. Well, let me show you what's up on Mars. That's what they call Mars Morris code. They think somebody designed these to be some special code. That is interstitial pulled this way and pulled that. It's gathered, pulled, gathered, pulled. Exactly what I just showed you a second ago. The balls are the toughest of all. The fibers will erode away because they, they move. The balls are the tough spots. They're, and I'll show you where they are on Earth. Actually, before we go to Earth, these are the Mars blueberries. This is the basement layer of skin. There was skin up above here, and then there was interstitium. It all eroded away and left the balls just like this. This is on Earth, same as the blueberries. These are the Moki marbles. This is the basement layer. There was a layer of skin up here, eroded away. This is the interstitium mud 
what happens is the skin is a lot of sand in the skin, a lot of silicon in the skin. Underneath you have a lot of fleshy, muddy, red, bloody stuff. Let me just show you the composition. Of, well, let me show you. All right, this is some chemical analysis of what sandstone is, and that's on your skin. Then you have the mudstone, that is the interstitial layer. Then you have the limestone, which is basically your construction materials in your body, bones and, and, and ligaments and tendons and so forth. This might be a better way to understand it. See the mud? When you're in the clay and the mud and the real slimy stuff, that's what mudstone is. And then you get a little less mud and more marly stuff, which is your bone, your, you know, your inside of your body. And, and then it, it sort of goes up until you hit your lime and limestone, which is your tendons. It's literally the tendons. Those fibers in the foot of Devil's Tower are tendinous fibrils. You see that CaCO3? That's calcium carbonates. Here's Devil's Tower. These are the tendons. This is the wrinkle zone where it snaps. That is a blood supply. There's a blood supply over here. There is very little blood in tendons. Very little. But there's some right there. This is the wrinkle zone. When they snap, this is under tension. It goes, bing! This doesn't lose its tension, all of that. But this does. You see that? Any anatomist can tell you that's ex exactly what a foot does. These are the calcanus part of the foot on the heel. This is so obvious, it's unbelievable that they can deny this stuff. Let me show you something. Devil's Tower, wrinkle zone, tendon fibrils. You see that? That's what they look like. There's tendon fibrils. And they, they're everywhere around the earth. And they're not just from volcanism or something like that. It's insanity what they think. Really is. It's, it, they just and they. It, I've been doing this for a long time, and it, presenting it to the people that should pay attention. They do not care about truth. That's just a fact. Okay, my friends. I've had CAT scans. I've had DNA tests. I've got the specimens. I've presented the evidence over and over and over for the last ten years to all of the people that should be interested. They don't care about the truth. They are fiduciary failures to students. That's just the bottom line. That's all I have to say about it. Have a nice day. Actually, I do have something else to say. Since I've d done this, I was just totally lost. I had no faith whatsoever in anything. I, God and all that nonsense was just silliness. Well, since then, I have found out that that is not true. It is the things in the past were all written about. I can attest, attest to that their truth. Now, they claim to know God, but by their actions they deny Him. They are detestable, disobedient, unforedoing anything good. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. In their greed, these false teachers will exploit you with tales they have concocted. Their long-standing verdict against them remains in force, and their destruction does not sleep. That's the last word. As soon as you people to start to pay attention to reality, you just hate God and you hate Jesus Christ, and it's and your destruction does not sleep. I have come to the conclusion that this is not a joke. This is not a joke. Your eternity is going to last forever. There's nothing you can do. Time will continue. What you do with it is up to you. And you can influence what your time will be after this time is over, I believe. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't want to preach, but it's time for you people to start paying attention and let other people have their way. Because you just tell them you have to dismiss God to be able to pass school. It's not right at all. Okay, I believe I have just shown pretty convincing evidence that there was life on Mars, and that would create methane, methane because everything decomposes, and it's still decomposing now, and they have found clouds of methane on Mars, and they are astounded. For the last 10 years, they won't pay attention to me. I've been telling them what's going on there. They have no clue what they're doing. They think that there's bugs underneath the surface. 
and they see this methane in the atmosphere thinking, well, there must be some life there somewhere. It's sticking right in their face. I tell you, it just upsets me every day for 10 years, but I suppose things take time.